so let's move on to this upcoming game against the Seahawks. The way I looked at it just 12 hours ago was Niners have no chance. They have to beat the Patriots because coming back after that cross-country trip, going to Seattle, playing that undefeated team, it's a scheduled loss. Now the Niners just made that road trip look easy. Seattle, they lost, and their defense has been consistently atrocious all season. Um, I don't know if it's a scheduled loss anymore. What do you what do you expect to see in that game next Sunday? I'm not I'm not gonna overreact to either performance from yesterday. I the only thing I'm gonna react to from yesterday is that Arizona's a lot better than I originally thought. A yep. lot better than I originally thought. That defense is a Deep. lot better than I really thought. And Buda Baker is very, 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 very good. <laughs> like really good. Yeah. He should be in the conversation for defensive player of the year along with Fred Warner, not to go on a tangent. Agreed. Fair. Yep. But going back, uh, I think that right now looking at that game, I, what really worried me is I was cheering real hard for Seattle in that game. And I'll tell you why for two reasons. One is beating Russell Wilson twice in a row seems like it's – especially when he a has a game order. like that on national television where he throws t- three picks – it feels a little scary. It feels a little scary. And then number two, the reason is the way I saw the NFC is that if Seattle kind of kind of pulls away and you kind of don't worry about them as the number one seed, then the Niners are in the comp- – You the, by beating Seattle, Arizona comes back to where the Niners are. And now you've got the Niners, Arizona, and the Rams kind of in the same position battling for that wild spot, wild card mm-hmm. spot. But now Arizona stays just a tad bit ahead of the Niners with a little easier schedule moving forward. And now Seattle is coming back down. And now you're going to have just this entire dogfight throughout the conference. So I was hoping that Seattle would pull away, allowing the Niners to have a bit more of an opportunity to just duke it out with one less team with what's going to be just a dogfight for that seventh, sixth, fifth, sixth, seventh playoff spot in the NFC. Well, I think it's so interesting is like just last week we were talking like, well, the, the division's out of the, out of the picture. I mean, it's just out of the question. Can they can they sneak in as a wild card team? If they win this week, they're what? A game behind the Seahawks? A game. Yeah. So and, they're I mean, they're right back in it. And again, the Seahawks to me do not look that great. Yeah, a couple their, of things defense, I their, defense, their defense is atrocious. It's, it's like the Cowboys. Right, but it's been atrocious all year, right? Like, let's not act like this Seattle defense, like last night, was a one-off performance. Nope. It hasn't been a good defense even when Jamal Adams was playing earlier this year. The thing you know what that, they need? What? Robert Sala. That's, that's... Ha! <laughs> they got to fire that old man up in Seattle and give that job to Big Bobby. I'm just kidding. Let's, go, let's keep going. Okay, but... The thing that's been bailing him out all year is that Russell Wilson has been playing at a next, next, next kind of level. He's also been, DK. Right. And DK Metcalf is a top five to ten, whatever you want. I don't know where he is, wherever you want to rank him. But he's when you're talking best receivers in football, DK Metcalf's name has to be mentioned. And so there and Tyler Lockett is so underrated for so many years. He's been so good for so many years. So they Greg have Olsen is nothing to sneeze at. Right. So they have a lot going on with their offense. The thing with uh, what's going on, so the thing that worries me is that, like, I have no doubt that Kyle Shanahan, because he's done it for years, he's given the Seattle defense this cover three scheme trouble from his yeah. entire time of going against it. Like, he yeah. was up against that Seattle defense 14-0 before Robert Griffin tore up his knee. And he was True. doing it with the quarterback, I don't think he particularly, in an offense that I don't think he particularly wanted to run, which was that read option. Hmm. Deja vu. Okay, keep going. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know what I, I don't know what I was thinking right there. Keep going. But 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 so he's been doing it. He's been giving this defense problems his entire career. He did it with Atlanta, and he'll definitely give their he'll definitely put up points on their defense. Remember and what he did in Atlanta in, in the play. Remember what he did to Seattle in the playoffs in Atlanta? I, I feel yeah. I feel like he got the Niners job that day. Jed York said, Oh, you can do that to Pete Carroll. Yes, I want that. Or Jim Harbaugh has never been able to do that. The Chip Kelly and Jim O'Neill. Yeah. Oh, the 40. Yeah, he hung 40 on him. I almost thought he was going to try to hang 40 on Belichick yesterday, but almost like Belichick will hold that against you the rest of his life. You better play this out respectfully and yeah. run the ball. I think don't he was there too much. I don't think yeah. he – I think he reveres Belichick rather than wanting to challenge him. Hey, but right. not to get off topic. Going Sorry. back to this game. Yeah. Yeah. 
So I have no questions at the Niners offense. And I know that the Niners defense has been playing well, but you can play really good defense against Seattle and still get 35 dropped on you because their quarterback is that good. And they yeah. have two receivers that are really, really, really good. Yeah. So I don't have any doubt that the Niners defense is going to play like they're not going to play bad per se. I'm just more worried about Russell Wilson. And that's yeah. just, that's been the worry when you play Seattle for the last eight years or so. If whenever because they have that quarterback, they have a chance in every game. And if if it's just a shootout type thing and he gets the ball last, like I was shocked that he failed yesterday twice. Yeah. Reminded me a little bit of the – when I first saw that he missed the kick, I thought this was like Seattle Niners Monday night and Wilson yeah. closed the deal because yeah. that defense was gassed, but he didn't yesterday. I'm yeah. not betting against him to not close the deal many more times this season. One thing, one thing. We've been talking about how the Niners have evolved and how they're playing so much man coverage, two-man, double safety high. Let me tell you something. They try that against Russell Wilson, they're going to lose. You cannot play two man against a mobile quarterback like that. He'll just run for 15 yards, 20 yards every time. Uh, so, no, you can't do that. You got to play. If you're going to play man, it's cover one or cover zero. And you got to have a guy. You got to have, it's all about a spy and edge containment. Right. I, I mean, it's the same thing every week with these quarterbacks, but it's serious. If you play two man against Russell Wilson, it's over. You're going to lose. He's going to run for 100 yards. And you're giving up big plays to those receivers regardless of how good you're covering because right. he throws the best deep ball in the NFL and those guys do an excellent job of tracking it and catching it. So there might be game plays where Jason Verrett is on, in as good a position on DK Metcalf as you can be, but DK Metcalf is six foot four, 235 pounds, and Jason Verrett is 5'10", 182. So it might just be a, I'm bigger than you. So as good as you are, I'm still going right. to catch this football. That's a tough matchup for Jason Fred. He's got, he's given up six inches. You know, in this matchup, it might be actually best for the Niners to play a lot of zone, play cover three, keep everything in front of you, play eight in the box and, and focus on edge containment. And, you know, really, this might be the, the, the week where playing man could get you burned just by Russell Wilson running. But I really feel like the Niners should win this game. And I didn't feel that way yesterday, but looking at what they're what they're up against, I mean, I like to talk about identity. What is the identity of the Seahawks right now? The last two years, they were a run first team. They're not anymore. They threw like fifty times yesterday. Uh, Chris Carson's a little banged up. Carlos Hyde is Carlos Hyde. I mean, come on, like he's a good Jeff runner. Wilson. He runs hard, but he's not going to get you more than a fifteen yard gain. He's not explosive. I'll take Jamichael Hasty over him right now. I mean, that, that run game's okay. It's not great. They have a great quarterback, a great quarterback with some excellent weapons, but the defense isn't there. The run game isn't there. I think the Niners should be favored. 